So my fears that the frog spawn I collected in the last video weren't going to develop have been completely unfounded. Every single one has hatched out into a tiny little tadpole. And the speed at which these guys are developing is absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure that later on in this video we'll see them swimming freely about the tank. So let's take a close look inside the tank and I'll explain exactly what's happening with the tadpoles. Well thank you for joining me for this episode of Frog Watch. Let's go back a few days. This footage was shot on Tuesday, a mere three days after collecting the spawn, and already you can see there's been a lot of development. The tadpoles have almost taken shape and will occasionally move about inside their eggs. Just one day later, and most of the tadpoles have hatched. They will spend the next few days attached to the jelly which they will slowly eat before swimming away once they are strong enough. So we've seen that the tadpoles have hatched out in the tank, but what about down at the pond? Well, let's go and take a close look and see if we can see any development in the spawn that's there. Right, so I've come down to the pond's edge here and it's quite interesting because uh, there's not a huge amount of development in some of the spawn. I'll give you a bit of a close-up look at it. They begin to turn from small dots at the centre of the jelly into slightly elongated comma-shaped tadpoles or wait, soon to be tadpoles. Uh, but most of it is uh, kind of hasn't really developed a huge amount since we saw it last time out. Uh, you can even see sort of at the edge of the pond uh, just around here where it's beginning to dry out. I'm not sure how well some of the spawn will do because it's, uh, it's quite clumped together and, and uh, very muddy. Uh, you get a lot of dogs in this pond which probably just run right through it and, and kind of uh, probably kill a lot of it. Um, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some development. Now the main reason why uh, all the tadpoles in my pond have hatched out uh, rather than um, in here in the pond is because of the temperature. Uh, in my tank at home, obviously, the water is room temperature, so things happen a lot faster. So they've all hatched out in a matter of days. Uh, here at the pond, um, it's obviously much colder. It's, it's still, you know, we had a fairly mild winter, but it's still temperatures are still pretty low, um, and so development will be a lot slower. Uh, but that's the main reason. But uh, yeah, we'll have a have a bit of a look around, see what kind of development we can spot, and then we'll get back to the uh, the tank and uh, see how they're getting on. One interesting thing I could spot in several places were these white dots in the spawn. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It could be unfertilized spawn, or perhaps the spawn has been infected with a fungus, which can happen. So at the beginning of the video, I said that I expected to see the tadpoles swimming around freely. Well, today is Saturday, so we've had these tadpoles now a whole week, and yes, they have started to swim around. They've moved away, or at least some of them have from the spawn, and are now found all around the tank. Let's take a closer look, and I'll explain a bit about what's actually going on. The tadpoles at this stage have mostly swam away from the spawn, and they're gathering together at the size of the tank. They attach themselves to the glass with their mouths and may exhibit a slight schooling behaviour like fish. You may be able to see small feathery gills which they use to extract oxygen from the water. These will disappear over the next few days as skin grows over the top of them. 
You might be able to see I have too many tadpoles for the size of the tank. Remember, you should only have two to three tadpoles per litre of water, and in this tank I only want around 30 tadpoles, so as they get bigger, I'll need to release some back to the pond. Well, thank you very much for joining me this week. Make sure you join me next time because it should be a pretty exciting episode. At the moment, these tadpoles will be eating the jelly and any algae in the tank, but next week they'll probably be big enough that we'll need to feed them some extra food. And I'll cover that in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more tadpole adventures. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.